Hi there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to talk about the hormone piece of my book and the nutrition program that I have for women and dive into a little bit more about how this works exactly and why it works for women and just important pieces of information that seem to be left out of our education, our general education on how women's bodies work. Um, there I could talk for days on the information that we're not given on how our bodies work and um, just sort of how women feel lost all the time. I, I'm not sure what's going on with my body. I don't know why this changed. How do I work with this? Uh, I'm feeling frustrated now and I've been doing these things and these things have worked but all of a sudden these things aren't working anymore and I'm trying to do these other things and I don't understand and da 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 da. Right? You end up feeling kind of like a crazy person that you're chasing after all these things and you have no idea what's happening or what's going to happen next, right? So this is a baseline information piece on what's going on with your body and what you can do to sort of take charge of that. What you can do to just inform yourself more and then I'm going to talk a little bit about eating for your hormones and then why that's, I mean, that's the basis of my book and then how you can take control of your own life, your own health, your own hormones by doing that. So when we talk about the hormone piece of it, um, this is just an example of the female cycle. Days 1 through 28 before your menstrual cycle starts over again. Day 1 is the first day of your period, and then day 14 is about when you would ovulate about, and day 28 is when it would end, right, before your cycle starts again. Now, one thing to understand is that there's um, pieces of information that women are not given. When you start this process in your life going through puberty, it can take anywhere from four to six years for this to really regulate on its own naturally. Most gals, if they have an issue with this when they start their cycle, they're thinking there's something wrong with me, I better go get on the pill to regulate it. Me <laughs> and you haven't even given your body enough time for it to naturally figure it out on its own. So that's something that causes women a lot of stress and a lot of issues right off the bat. Um, and then this can change throughout your life with stress, with injuries, illnesses, um, through you know having babies or miscarriages or other hormone issues. Um, you know, stress being one of them, I just throw that out there lightly, but it's not something that your body takes lightly at all. It has a huge impact on how your body functions, your overall health, and everything else. Um, and then, of course, there's that other pheromone piece that a lot of women are familiar with, meaning, you know, and anybody who's been on a female sports team or lived with other gals in college, spent a significant amount of time with another group of gals, your cycles will link up. Now, it's not exact for everybody, but oftentimes you, you'll notice, whew, okay, my cycle came real early, and it's about the same as yours, you know. How does that happen for women's bodies? But it's definitely a trend that happens. Basically, uh, a lot of the research that they've done is not helpful <laughs> in determining exactly why. But then again, women have been having babies and having these, you know, hormonal changes throughout their bodies for centuries and they still haven't been able to figure out exactly how it works. Well, I don't know that we need to know exactly how it works, other than this is how women's bodies function, and most women have experienced something like this in their life, that yes, my hormones shift and change, um, and I will link up with somebody else, um, you know, a group of friends or something, if I spend time with them. Very, very common, and it happens all the time. Now this is, you know, if your body is not being regulated by any type of birth control or something like that. Um, a lot of times having a birth control overrides what's going on naturally, so it will keep your body in a pattern like this just all the time no matter what. So that pheromone piece of it is really, really important. One thing when I talk about nutrition that matches this, eating differently for estrogen here versus progesterone, because estrogen and progesterone do different things in the body, so you can take advantage of the health benefits or things that you want to positively draw out from estrogen by just switching whatever foods you're, healthy foods you're choosing to eat here versus here. Um, a very new concept for a lot of women, but the difference in having this actually take effect is that your body is very adaptable and it, and it will shift and change and you can imprint on your hormones with your nutrition. And I experience this you know, with women that I work with all the time. So one of the things that women can relate to is that, you know, you've been around other gals that, yes, you will notice a change in your hormones and, you know, matching up with their hormones. 
that type of thing. If you've noticed that, oh yeah, totally, the pheromone piece comes into play, and then your hormones will adapt to that, and then will shift where your cycle is based on that. So your hormones are not static. They're not stuck in this thing, routine, all the time. They shift and change and adjust um, with, with life. So that's, that's kind of how that works with nutrition matching with your hormones um, and how it will bring out and you can really work on regulating your cycle by just shifting what you're eating all the time naturally. So when we talk about estrogen and the carb burning effect of estrogen, so I'm just going to talk about um, some of the specific tactics that you can target for taking advantage of eating for your cycle. I do talk more about this in my book, um, and there are other videos that I've done on this, but with estrogen, uh, one of the main things that estrogen does that's different than progesterone, besides increasing energy and metabolism and digestive system and all those other great things, is that estrogen also burns carbs. Progesterone will burn fat, naturally. Right? So these are things where when you talk about imprinting on your hormones, and really taking advantage of the benefit, you want to be focusing on doing carb cycling here and then intermittent fasting here to take advantage of the deep fat burning zone, targeting visceral fat, and really making your body's metabolism rev up at a time where it's naturally wanting to slow down. So this is, this is something that you can, again, just tweak even more, taking advantage of your cycle and your hormones. These are pieces of information that so many women can benefit from. Um, whether or not you want to lose, use this for a weight loss tactic, whether or not you want to use it for just a hormone regulation tactic, whether or not you want to just get more energy and sleep better and you know notice an increase in your overall health. Eating for your cycle, eating for your hormones is going to do a lot of those things for you. So when we talk about the, the seven day um, you know kind of jump start slim down that I have that's on my website, you, it's a sample of the nutrition program that I have. So that seven day so the seven day, I'll just write this out. It, the, the things that it incorporates is that it's high in protein. It goes through protein pacing. It is a clean program. And when I say clean, it's just healthy whole foods. There's no processed things in there. So there's you know meal prepping and all that other good stuff that's, that's involved. Um, you are gonna be doing carb cycling. Woo! I can spell it too, I can spell it. <laughs> and then intermittent fasting. Um, there's other components that it's, it's also gluten-free. You can make it dairy-free as well if you need. Um, there's any other allergen, allergen-free, A-L-L-E-R-G-E-N, free, if you, again, if you need it to be. It doesn't have to be, but if you need it to, to switch those things about it. The one thing that the seven day is not taking account for is the specific foods for estrogen and progesterone. So I'll be doing more information on that this week and really diving into specifics on estrogen, specifics on progesterone, spending more time on each of those hormones, where you're at. This is gonna help regulate your cycle. It's gonna help with PMS symptoms. It's gonna help with bloating and getting more energy and then getting more out of your body all month long. It's amazing those things that shift and change and happen with this. So the only thing that's not in the seven day is the hormone piece. And why? Why is it not included in the seven day? Because it's only seven days. It's only, you know, a week of this. So I incorporated both things, carb burning and fat burning components to this. Again, super power packed, super, super power packed, but it is missing the hormone piece. For the hormone piece that's involved in the 12 week program that I have for women that you can get involved in and if you want, you know, you will get tons of guidance and support and everything. But for the seven day, it's a great start. It is a great thing to download and get started with and really take advantage of and spot, spot, spot's excited about it. Aren't you puppy? Aren't you puppy? <laughs> yes, you are. Yes. You always seem to get excited and I don't know if you can see this, but he has his yellow ball, which he's like, he wants me to throw, but he doesn't want me to take it from him. He wants, throw it, mom, but he doesn't want me to take it. Yeah. Okay. Baby, can you take Spot upstairs? Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Spot's excited, too. <laughs> this is 
real life, right? Again, I'm not a fancy person. I'm just super passionate about helping women and getting this information out there and changing women's lives and the results that women have gotten, you know, the thousands of women that I've worked with now that have had these changes happen in their bodies. <laughs> that's what I'm passionate about. So I don't get fancy for videos. I don't like doll up because that's not me. And I, my dogs pop in on the video because that's, that's life. This is, this is life. So we're going to go. Anyway, okay. Seven day program, uh, high protein, protein pacing, clean eating, carb cycling, intermittent fasting. It'll take you through one carb cycle. It'll take you through one day of intermittent fasting. Again, if you have questions on this, on whether or not it's right for you to do, if you're like, ooh, I have this health thing going on, I'm not sure, you can comment on the video or you can message me. I'm more than happy to answer questions specifically on if this or if these specific tactics would be a good thing for you to do if you have questions on, ooh, this might not be, or I'm not sure about this, or I've never made it through a fasting day. How do I do that? Again, it's all listed out for you, but there's other ways to get these same goals accomplished, and I'm more than happy to talk about that. A lot of allergy information available as well. I'm a gluten-free person, and I recommend people dropping gluten for the inflammatory re um, purposes. You get a faster result when you decrease inflammation, and there's gluten is inflammatory. Um, so that's that. But again, you're just not going to get that hormone piece. So to dive into the hormone piece, it just takes longer. It takes a minimum of 12 weeks for your hormones to shift in your body. That's how long physiologically your hormones take to like actually create and make and do all these things hormonally with a with an egg and an ovary and all that stuff. 12 weeks. When you get on birth control, they're like, in 12 weeks, use the backup method, right? Everybody, like, thyroid medication, 12 weeks, they test you. That 12 weeks time frame, that three-month time frame, is, that's the time frame. So that's why I have these programs, you know, at a specific time frame to really give women the best results. This is a jump start to get you a sample to really feel and see the impact on your body and system. Um, and it's kind of fun. But again, you are going to be missing on the hormone piece. But there's going to be more I'm going to talk about with the hormone piece here. Over the next week, as my book's coming out, I'll be talking more specifics and really releasing a lot of the information from the book as well um, and going through estrogen, progesterone, and these specific tactics and how to eat for your hormones in your cycle. Whew, okay. That was a lot. So if you haven't downloaded the 7-Day, click on the link here. It's just on my website. You can get it and download it and get started. I'm going to ask many questions that you have. And if there's any other questions that you have that you want to private message me, go ahead. I'd be more than happy. Or you can email me, which is just drbethwesty at gmail.com. Yes. Otherwise, everybody have a great day and enjoy your Sunday.